Let's ignore the first sentence in this comment and focus specifically on the second one. Saying that white people have more power than black people is not really their fault. Conversations and work around race, racism, and anti-racism are never addressing people living today who are white and saying that they are at fault for having systemic power compared to people of other races, but they are inheritors of that systemic power from past generations that did set these systems up. And as the inheritors of those systems, they are in the absolute best position to deconstruct those systems and they have a responsibility as the inheritors to do so. If you are a white person, it is a fact that you have racial privilege and don't come at me with, oh well, I was poor or oh well, I'm disabled or oh well, I'm insert other marginalized identity here. That is valid and that is another conversation, but in the conversation about racial privilege, whiteness is at the top of the racial hierarchy unjustly and it is up to white people as the inheritors of that system and as the beneficiaries of that privilege to deconstruct those systems. The peoples being discriminated against are already being harmed by those systems. So you're saying that they should, while continuously experiencing harm, their families being harmed, their communities being harmed, and just trying to survive and protect themselves. And on top of that, they should also go and fight the systems, which then by doing so, they draw more attacks onto themselves from people who are straight up white supremacists. And for all of that harm that they are additionally bringing on themselves by fighting the system, they are not going to be as effective as white people deconstructing white supremacy. Racism is a problem of white people because white people were the ones who created it in the first place. That's why they're the beneficiaries of it.